Okay, we had a question earlier about the Vacheron Constantin limited editions. Uh, this is a great question because here we have a company that's sort of stuck between two worlds, trying to offer a value-priced watch and trying to uphold their big three holy trinity status. And you kind of see both of that across these two models. So Yannick V asked, Tim, what do you think of the new Vacheron Constantin Historique triple calendar watches. Okay, guys, two watches, both triple calendars, both 40 millimeters, both Historique collection, which is Vacheron Constantin's tribute heritage line, both powered by a Geneva Hallmark in-house manual caliber 4400. One feels more Vacheron to me, and there's a definite champion between the two. I'm less enchanted by the triple calendar 1942. $23,200 US, guys. Now. The triple calendar 1942 is the steel version of the watch. I will say that it's a good looking watch. It's true to its historic inspiration. Uh, to its credit, it received, it received the lion's share of the design DNA. Vacheron, great tradition of sexy lugs going back to the mid-century. Drop dead legs on this watch means sexy lugs in the best tradition of the manufacturer. Dial detail is one area where I take exception and think this is where the 1948 that came out is better than the 1942. Uh, printed features, bare apertures, non-precious metal needle hands are more appropriate on true vintage pieces than a luxury tribute version. I understand and can see merit in the idea of an inter interesting entry level piece for this brand, but this doesn't seem like the most natural landing spot for it in VC's catalog. The Historique line has traditionally been a flagship collection that revels equally in elegance, nostalgia, and yeah, a little bit of rich decadence. Uh, with an underlying hint of modernity to give the watches their own identity so they don't draw on reflected glory. That I see far more on the Triple Calendar 1948. VC has a strong entry-level champ already. From my perspective, that's the steel Cate for 15200 with the blue dial. That's a sexy Geneva Hallmark automatic that would appeal more to younger buyers at the entry level. Mm -hmm. Also, buyers weaned on sports watches who are used to a larger and bolder case form. This is a better gateway, I think, to Vacheron than the 1942. Uh, Josh, what do you think? Is, Vacheron isn't just for the Werther's original crowd. I think the Cade Allele is a better point of entry than the 1942. I think so too, right? So, I mean, well, the, the 1942 is just a special edition that was released this year, right? So yes. it's, and they have, they have, it's definitely, uh, it, for their entry, it's definitely gonna be a, a collector's watch as opposed to an entry watch, I think. Yes. The, the Cade Allele, is gonna. It's a watch that looks more uh, complicated than it is. Yeah. It's, it looks a little bit more expensive than it is. To and, its credit. Right. Exactly. For sure. Which is not easy to find with Vacheron these days. Right. And it's. It just has a cool like a wow factor to it that 1942 is not going to have. So I'd say in a place in a collection, the Cade Leo can be a, a step like a, a first step. That's where whereas, I would start. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. As opposed to the the 1942, which is going to be part of a larger collection. Like I've had a few customers ask me about the availability of that watch, and none of them have been people who are taking their first step into Vacheron. Right, so I'd say I'd agree with that. Yeah. I mean, if you guys, you have guys coming from Panerai, IWC, Rolex, Breitling, Omega, it's a lot easier to say, this is the Cato Leon steel. It's big, it's bold, it's contemporary, it's handmade, and you're getting a true Vacheron, but you're getting it in a package that you're gonna find more stylish and contemporary and relevant. I love the watch. I think that's a watch they need to re-emphasize to get new people into the brand. Yeah. Okay. Interesting, interesting piece. Triple Calendar 1948 is the stronger offering, and this one feels like a heart and soul Vacheron to me. Mm -hmm. It's available in rose gold and yellow gold, which I love. Anachronistic maybe, but I love that Vacheron never ran from the original gold. Uh, this is excellent watchmaking here. Geneva Hallmark, but the movement feels more at home in this case. Uh, of course, Geneva Hallmark now a standard that applies both to the case and the movement. For me, it feels more natural in a precious metal case. 200 copies in yellow, 200 copies in rose. 41,600, but it feels worth the money asked, and far closer, I think, to what the history collection should be. I, I feel like, across the board richness, this has the advantage, and the force of VC is stronger with this one, so to speak. Yeah. I would also say applied indices, numerals, date frames, and hands in solid gold. That feels Vacheron, that's how it should be, and neither 
printed nor plated. This dial is far warmer, and the presence of the burgundy red moon face really completes the package. Like a W126 Mercedes-Benz S-Class from the 80s, this 1948 exhibits no clues that any effort was made to design to a price point. Vacheron, I think you've got a superb watch right here.